Okay, if you're watching this video, then you haven't made your notebook yet. So let's get started. You're gonna click on current lesson. Obviously, you're already here if you can see this video. And you are going to find the link that says Q4 Create Your Digital Notebook. It's been in our past few modules. So you can see it's from Thursday and Friday, from Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's in Mondays as well. They're all the same. Just click on one. All right, so this Canvas page has all the links that you're gonna need to create your starter notebook. First, you need to click this red link that says click here to make a copy of your starter notebook. It is going to force you to make a copy of a Google Slide document. This Google Slide document is your Spanish notebook. It will stay in your Google Drive until you delete it at the end of the year or just keep it forever. I don't really care. Okay, you will see this page pop up. The first thing you do, follow these directions, change the name of the document, deleting copy of and putting your name. So I'm deleting copy of, and I'm gonna put Miss Miller. I can spell my own name right. And then look, I renamed it. Okay, second, you need to share it with me. Like I said, we're gonna be using this digital notebook for the rest of the semester. We're gonna do a lot of our assignments here, so I need to be able to see if you've done your work. Click share. Don't change any other settings. All you have to do is share it with me. My email is lmiller at msdwt and then k12.in.us. Sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. All right, so you just click it and press send. I'm not gonna send it to myself because I don't need to do that. Okay. Once you're done with that, you are gonna keep this open, go back to Canvas, scroll down to number three and click on fill out this Google form. Okay, this Google form allows me to give you new pages in your notebook. We're gonna get new pages starting this week. So make sure that you do this correctly so you can get those pages. First, did you share your slides with me? That is the most important thing for this to work. Yes, you have to say yes because that is a step that you have to do. Then click next. Now you need to copy and paste the URL from your Google document. So you are going back to your notebook and this bar up here that starts with docs.google.com is your notebook or is your URL. Click it once and it will highlight the entire thing for you. You are going to copy it so you can um, press Control C for copy and then Control V to paste it and then it pasted everything there. So we need that whole URL. Then click next, you're putting in your name. So I know that you've done it. Um, and then you need to put your notebook in a place you can find it easy. So there are a couple options that you could do this. You first can press the star button so it stays in your starred folder. So if you go to your drive, the starred is right here. So you can just like click it and you can see that I have some starred things in here as well. It's just easier because you're not gonna start everything you need, right? Yes. You can bookmark it. So this, if you go up to your URL bar, the star up here bookmarks it to Chrome. So you can see I have some bookmarks in Chrome that just show up every time I open my Google Chrome browser. Um, so you could do that there or you could just move it to a folder. I like to move my things to folders because my Google Drive has a bunch of folders that I use every day. So this little um, box with an arrow lets you to move it. You can, If it doesn't have that there, you can always go to file and then move or add shortcut, either one works. Okay, I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna go to exploratory, quarter four, and I'm putting it in notebooks. Okay, so then if I go to my drive, I go to exploratory, 
order for notebooks. You can see I have my notebook here, Miss Miller's Exploring Spanish Notebook. So we are all set. Well, not yet. I'm going to mark what did I do? I put it in a folder. So in our Google form, make sure you press the submit button. It's not going to work unless you submit it. All right, so now we are going to go back to our notebook and see if this worked. Look, I got my success page. So now that I have this, if you don't want to keep your success page, you can just click it over in the toolbar and press delete. Um, now you're gonna work on your cover page. So click, you can delete and delete these if you don't want it. I gave you an example cover page you don't have to make yours as fancy as this. All you need at least is your name, but I made my fancy because why not? If you don't want it, mine in your notebook, you can just click it and press delete. All right, so you're gonna make your own cover page. Make sure you have your name and period, at least your name. Um, if you wanna add a background, you can. So let's say I wanna pay my name. My name is Miss Miller. I'm going to change the background. Choose an image because I like Google images. We'll do summer. Let's see if there's anything good for summer. This one looks nice. Not bad. We'll fill in that so we can see it. Oh, beautiful. And maybe we'll put it down here. So pretty. All right, and that is your notebook.